Hello all and welcome along, I am Simon Dan and today I am taking on a video entitled Oddities of the Gregorian Calendar by the YouTuber Marty Leeds 33 But before we continue I just want to say thank you for all your comments on the last video They're still going on now as we speak What a response we've had and some fantastic debating going on in the comment section After that complete flat earth destruction I have had a response which we will return to soon but for now We've got this fruitcake. Molly, take it away. Here's our year, drawn two-dimensionally, of course. Get our pi. So this is this would be March, April, uh, May. Did I do this right? Yes. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January and February, right? So there's our year. Now, if you noticed, uh, the the months here, like, um, so this would be January is the first month, February is the second month, March is the third month, April the fourth, etc. right? I cannot believe we've wasted 43 seconds already just writing down and stuttering our way through the months of the year. The problem with all of this is that, I mean, let's let's use October for a, a, an example here. How many legs does an octopus have? Eight, right? Oct means eight. It's not called a, a decapus, right? <laughs> oh, look at him laughing at himself. Bless him. Of course it's not called a decapus because it's got eight tentacles, not ten. So, so we have to ask, like, why is... The eighth month, it's literally signified by October, meaning eight, the tenth month of the year. Sept means seven, and yet it's the ninth month of the year. Nove means nine, and yet it's the eleventh month of the year. Dec, deca means ten, and yet it's the twelfth month of the year. So as you can see, all of these months, were, it's like we're two months off, we're shifted. Now some people say that the ancient Roman calendars, that there was um, ten months of the year, and that I guess like Julius Caesar and then Augustus Caesar, they wanted to have their own month, so they threw that in there. I don't know, of course. I don't know really what the reason is. Why would you know the reason? A sensible person would have researched the reason, so then he wouldn't have to talk gibberish on a YouTube video. Right. To start with, there were ten months. It started with March, and it was named after the Roman god of war, Mars. This is why September, October, November and December are so named. They were the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th months. Then in around 700 BC, Numa Pompeius turned a period of celebration at the end of the year into its own month named after the festival of February. February. Later, he became creative again and added a further month to the beginning of the year and named it after Janus, the god of beginnings and endings. January. In 1582, Pope Gregory, as in the Gregorian calendar, adjusted it so that January the 1st was the start of the year, and it was finally picked up by the British and their colonies in 1752. So whilst the names of some of the months do indicate a certain number, that doesn't really matter. Since 1752, September has been the ninth month of the year, October the 10th, and so on. But when I see this, this doesn't make a lick of sense to me at all. Does it make any sense to you guys? Yep, makes perfect sense, as I've just explained. It doesn't. So this is the problem um, I have when people ask me to say, hey, they, they're like, say, hey, I was born on, for, for instance, I was born on January 31st, 1979. Can you do the numeric breakdown of my name and find my life path number and all this sort of, you know, that sort of stuff. And I always shy away from that because of this problem right here. That's just a massive excuse. Are you sure it's not because they're just numbers and don't affect people's lives any way whatsoever? And I, I feel like this is a fundamental problem, right? So, and I'm, I'm just going to cover this quick. But, for instance, you, you see all these, like, numer quote-unquote numerologists and gematricians and all this stuff on the web, and people are saying, like, you know, like, 9-11. Oh, 9-11. 9-11 didn't happen on 9-11. 9-11 happened on 7-11. Because September is the seventh month. Right? Wrong. It's the ninth month. If 9-11 happened at around 800 BC, then it would have been the seventh month. But it didn't. It happened in the actual ninth month of the year. It wouldn't matter if that month was called Flat-Timber. 
it's still the ninth month. 711 is the proportions of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Its base is 11 units. Of this, I mean, this is a proportionality here, but its base is 11, height 7. And this Great Pyramid of Giza squares the circle. I'm, I don't have time to cover this. This is, I, I always say this, but this is a lecture in and of itself, really. This is, so, but September 11th didn't happen on 9-11. It happened on 7-11. This is, this is an issue to me. And so if people ask like, hey, can you break down my name and the numerology of when I was born? I, I refuse to do it. And this is the reason why. I think you refuse to do it because deep down inside, you know, it's utter bollocks. W interesting thing, right? This, um, you, you guys know I'm a, I'm a big fan of pie, right? Interesting thing about this whole thing here is that, you know, the, the, the equinox, when you have the, the, the vernal and autumnal equinoxes here, right? Basically what that does is create pie in the sky. You've got the lighter half of the year up here and the darker half down here, right? This is winter when this is when the sun is dying and, and you know, coming up into the, into spring and that sort of thing. This is when the sun is highest in the sky. So this is light and dark, if you will. This is your polarity, if you will. Awooga, awooga. Careful people, we've got a Northern Hemisphere chauvinist. What about people that live in Australia, South America, Southern Africa, Antarctica? Their summer is in your so-called winter months. This means that anything you're about to say is completely redundant. Um, heaven and earth, in, in respect. And, uh, you know, designated by a pi. Well, the solstice, the summer, or the, uh, excuse me, not the solstice, the spring equinox is on March 22nd. This year it's March 20th. So March uh, 22nd is your equinox, right? This year it's March 20th. Spring equinox. Well, that means, guess what September would be? 21st, 22nd, of course, but that would mean that Oh, look at him laughing at himself like he's some kind of genius. Should we tell him that the autumnal equinox this year is the 23rd? Should we tell him it's the 23rd next year too? Okay, okay. Hey, genius, the autumnal equinox this year is the 23rd. The autumnal equinox happens on September, or 7, 22. Well, 22 divided by 7 is 3.142. But 23 divided by 7 is 3.286, which is meaningless. In other words, when the equinox happens, the very date that it happens encodes pi, which is, that is exactly what the equinox does. Well, no, the equinox doesn't actually do anything. It just denotes the period in our orbit where day and night are of equal length. That's it. You guys see that? So, pretty interesting. So that's pi, everybody get that, right? So this would be September, which sept means seven, and it would happen on the 22nd. Well, 22 divided by seven is pi, there's pi right there. March is Aries, and I, I, I'm sure a bunch of you have seen this before, but I'm gonna cover this again here really quick. Um, I'll do this. Aries, that would be this house of the zodiac right here is Aries, and this is where the sun arises. It's just an anagram for one another right there, right? You switching a few letters around. This is where the sun rises and gets into the lighter part of the year, right? If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, yes. And Aries is one, five, 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 six, and seven, which once again is the opposite side of the equinox there. Seven is six, five, 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 one. One, five, 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 six, six, five, 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 one. I can't look at his smug little face any longer. I think we've done enough to dismantle his video, don't you? Amazing what sort of things are still going on out there. That's about it for another week. As I said, we've got a flat Earth response to deal with, and I'll also be doing maybe some more globe Earth proofs. Please, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.